The original concept for Jam Jar Flowers was just to do contract flowers on a Monday and spend the rest of the week in bed. I started Take Two model management when I was 26 years old. I'd been working in a couple of model agents and my dad asked me, what's the top salary you can earn? So, no, well, that's not very much. Um, who's making the money? And I said, well, the boss. He said, well, why don't you do your own thing? I think I use an identical skill set as a florist that I used as a model agent. My sort of old joke is that models are very beautiful and flowers are very beautiful, flowers don't answer back. That's the only difference really. Basically it's about the service that you give. I don't think I'm the best florist in London at all, but I think I am giving a really good service. My top three tips to somebody starting a new business in their 50s is to not underestimate the task that you've taken on. Secondly, to work as hard as you possibly can every hour that you can in order to get it off the ground. And thirdly, then to give the people that you've chosen to work with you the opportunity to inspire you and give you ideas. We use social media to market our business. It's our most powerful tool, I think. Um, Instagram particularly. Flowers are very visual. Everybody likes looking at pictures of flowers. And we've got over 4,000 followers now, which rather surprises me. Well, I think the thing about being in your 50s and starting a new business is that you are aware of time marching on. And so there's a pressure to get stuff done and get it done quite quickly. It's very important for me to have younger people working with me. I don't think of myself as an entrepreneur. I'm just a girl, woman who started two businesses. I don't like working for other people, so I have to work for myself. I think there is a fear of not doing something. And for me, not doing something isn't an option. I get depressed, I really do. I, I, I lie in bed, I'm really good at lying in bed. I can lie in bed for days at a time. And that's what I did when I stopped doing model agency. I lay in bed and then I realised I had to get up and I have to have something to get me up. And I have to, and you know, you're defined a lot by what you do. So I wanted to do something which would redefine me as, uh, and, th and this has given me a lot of confidence back. I haven't yet put a timeline on how, I'll carry, how long I'll carry on because I can't see the point of stopping really. Um, there still seems so much to do. No, I'm not putting a timeline on it, why would I?